This video shows how you can access rows or columns in Excel that fail to unhide. So first I want to talk about what the hide feature is really quickly. So anytime you're in an Excel spreadsheet and you have like rows and columns, you can hide them if you wanted to. And this is often used for say in this example here, I wanted to share some information with staff about how our business is doing. And it doesn't really matter to them at this for what we're specifically talking about, which customer actually bought the things. We're just talking about the items purchased. So I could right click on this column B where the columns are and I could say hide. And this is just, I just right clicked and then I want to say hide and it hides that column. And you can see if you look at the row and column titles, you can tell they go from A and C. So you know something's hidden. And if I click way over here, you'll also see a really small little like set of two faint little lines, basically the lines that separate each column and row. And there's two of them close together with a tiny little gap. Sort of shows you that, hey, there's something there that is hidden and it's kind of another way to draw your attention aside from just like the A to C. And so then to undo this, you can either try to like, right, you know, hover right over that little space or oftentimes what I do is I select before and after it. And there may be several, say there was, um, say D was also hidden and I wanted to go, I could select all of these. I could just select all of them. And then I could right click at the top again and say unhide and that's gonna come right back. Anything that would have been hidden within that set of columns or rows that I had selected would unhide. Unfortunately, sometimes it feels like this doesn't work. So I'm going to go over here where I, you can see the, that it goes from 11 to 13 and 13 to 15. And I have the exact same set of two little lines. And it doesn't have to do with the fact that these are rows versus columns. It's just I set it up that way so you could see the example. Um, but you see the two little lines that are barely far apart. It looks just like a hidden row. So with these selected, when I right click and I select unhide, nothing happens. So why is that? Why did nothing happen? Well, the reason why is because these are technically not hidden. They have just been resized really small. So if I do that and select them all, I set them all to the same size, or I could have, if I control it, I could have unselected there and just grabbed the one little row here and pulled it a little bit bigger. So if you ever right click, I'm sorry, exactly the same, but you get the idea. If you ever right click and select something and try to unhide and it doesn't unhide, it's probably because it's actually been resized rather than being hidden. It's just that the, the symbols for the two look very much the same. So if I squish this up to about as small as it can be, it looks like that. And here, if I do the same thing and I, or if I do a hide, it looks like that. They're very, very similar little marks. So it's almost impossible to tell them apart if you get, if you really shrink them up, like there, there we go. For a minute there, you could see a little number over here, but now you can't see anything. And so the unhide will work up here, but not over here. And that's because this is really a resize and this one up here is really an unhide. And that's how you can access rows or columns in Excel that fails to unhide.